So this is a space for us. Ain't nothing but good vibes here, you know? Ain't no negativity here. It's a hub for kids who, you know, who want who want more. It's like a home and they teach you things that you might need to know or they teach you what you might be interested in just like at home. Acceptance and tolerance of different people, whether it be their race or even their sexuality. You just get comfortable with everybody and then all of a sudden you're all friends. <laughs> a community really. Uh, when you come in, everyone makes you feel like your family. Uh, everyone makes you feel welcome. You can just relax and let go of all the stress at the door. If you really put yourself out there, you really uh, see like uh, different people's personalities and uh, um, you get to know some people, um, also like have just a good time. It's nothing but love here. Right when you walk in, you're gonna see an open space. It's gonna be just, it's gonna feel open. We clear everything out. It's just very modular. We can have ability to do a lot of different things in that space. And so there'll be open seating, there'll be an open table, and you're gonna have somebody welcome you. Then we have a gallery space, and we try to showcase people like Ashley Woods. She's a Marvel comic artist who's come and visited uh, Street Level. We want to have artists up there that are people that the kids can actually meet. Then we have the computer lab. That is accessible to anybody. And we usually have workshops or classes in there. Um, and the anime club also uh, holds that down and meets there a lot. I found about street level because my high school, Nova Street College Prep, had this elective class called digital media. And one of the mentors came one day and was teaching us how to use a H1 mic and we like uh, set up an interview with one of our dean of students, and he was just telling us street level programs are like free to use. And so I did like a graphic design one day, interviews one another day, camera work another day, and I was and the music musicology was fun. Me and another person named Ninety Keys, who um, used to come here, created Anime Club. We wanted to teach youth just like us the way of like digital media, so like photography. Photoshop and all that, but in the way of anime. So if you want to take it to the next level, then you might go with Lisa into the audio studio. Street level, street level is the place for a youth to hone their craft. Lisa, she taught me a lot about the board, how to mix tracks, how to set up the microphone. Because of that, I was able to record a lot of music on my own without even needing an engineer. And then we have the editing studio. We can come in, you can do your editing. You have multiple monitors, and you can just feel like you're in the game. I'm just very motivated and ambitious, and I just got a goal in my head that I really, that I really need to achieve. So if I gotta get it every day, come and come here. That's all I'm gonna do. This space is like uh, for our events that we have. We wanna do a screening. I uh, have a showcase of some of our kids' work as a video. Or if we want to have a concert, um, we also we've had already several uh, listening parties, and then it's our stage where we actually shoot. The program this summer is a documentary production program. It's a collaboration between Street Level Youth Media and Chicago Votes. I'm training the few organizers in, in um, Chicago Votes and some of our kids, and they're gonna team up and be a documentary crew. We're working on the summer program. It's a five week thing, basically like a crash course in filming and editing, but also just like research. Each young person in my group is tackling something different. We have the young man Ira who's working on a piece of about skateboarders of color. Most skateboarders of colors don't do the activity in a the neighborhood. They find someplace else, like a skate park, um, just because generally it's more acceptable. Chicago is, is an amazing city. It's a world-class city for arts and culture, yet it's so hard for so many uh, young people to access those experiences. And that's what we're here to do, is to bridge that gap and make sure that every young person in Chicago has the opportunities to fulfill their greatest potential.